Hi everybody, welcome to Parent Shift, episode three with your parent shifters, Ty and Linda Hatfield, Parenting from the Heart. We have been working on the emotional needs of your child and we have packaged them into the acronym called SPECIAL. So there's seven emotional needs that we've been talking about. The first one we talked about was SMILE in episode one, Fun, Laughter, and Play. Episode two, we talked about Every Child Needs to Feel Powerful. And today we're talking about the letter E, which stands for... Explore. Experiment and explore is an emotional need that children need to get met. When they're born or they're new toddlers, they run around and touch things, jump on things, pee on things, <laughs> all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Well, they're experimenting their new world that they're in, and it's exciting. And we want to keep that going as long as we live, really. We want to always be exploring. So we want to allow children to explore, experiment things. And typically, temperaments drive this a lot. So... If a child is more hands-on, got to put everything, touch everything, that's more, more of a temperament. And that could drive you crazy as a parent, especially if you're a person who doesn't need to touch so much. For example, let's say you're walking down with your child and there's a sign that says, Wet paint, do not touch on this bright white wall. The tempting thing to do for the child that loves to touch things is to touch it. Just see if it's dry yet, right? Well... I'm one of those children. <laughs> I would check it out, especially if nobody was looking, you know. And the bonus is if it's still wet and you get something on your finger, it's really exciting, isn't it? Uh, but if I have a parent that's like, don't touch anything, that we're going to have a lot of conflict. So my first point is really be aware of that your children are different and temperament-wise, and they need to experiment and explore all the time, and some more than others. And maybe just put yourself on pause when you see that. And just let them do it as long as it's not um, crazy violation of somebody's property. Uh, okay, so the next thing is uh, I want to talk about electives. When your kid becomes a uh, middle schooler, they get to pick their first class called an elective. And if you're a controlling parent, though, you're going to say, this is what you're taking. You're taking keyboarding first. You're going to take Spanish. You're going to take this. And it kind of defeats the power and the, and the joy of trying something new that the child wants to do, not necessarily the parent. And so what happens when the child is forced to take Spanish and they wanted French because they love the French culture? Well, there becomes a homework challenge probably and there's a lack of enthusiasm. Whereas if you would have just let them take French because that's what they were interested in, there's more of a buy-in to, I want to explore this more. Uh, other ideas are to um, uh, take apart things. You know, when you, during this quarantine time, you could take apart an old TV, an old DVD, even a VHS. If you've got that in your closet, take it out. Let your kid have a screwdriver and take it apart. Or the pr an old printer, a phone. Just let them experiment, explore, and, and research what, what's behind all this. Very cool. And then uh, think about uh, what you could cook differently. You know, try something completely different, and you should have your kid with you too. Uh, what's new art? Get a new modality of clay or sidewalk chalk or anything new that they haven't done. Let them experiment, explore with that. Games, new games. Maybe you've been playing the same game for a while. Go out and get something new that's challenging. And if you don't like it, return it. But try it. Try it. Because the awesome game that you find is going to be really fun. So the tip today is really to experiment, explore, and let their kids do that. And then Linda has a specific quarantine tip. Yeah. Well, before I do that, can you talk a little bit about when uh, you used to take a VHS and take the tape out? Oh. With the kids and what you used to do with it, because I was just oh, remembering. Yeah. Okay, that. okay, I forgot about that. Um, I would take an old VHS tape out and make it into an obstacle course, and they couldn't touch anything. And if they did, they would die. <laughs> <laughs> and so they go back to the beginning, and they have to sneak around and go through this obstacle course of videotape. Yeah, because he would tie it around the backyard, like wrap it around a tree or wrap it around a bush so they mm -hmm. would have to go under it or step over it and not 
touch yeah, it. Yeah, or I did it inside the house too. Yes, so, yeah. uh huh. That they love that. So mm -hmm. that was very creative and fun. Great experiment and exploring. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and so, in addition to to that, some other things that we did in our home when our kids were growing up was. Um, we would let them paint on their own walls in their bedroom and decorate the room the way they wanted to. Now, if they, if your children have their own bedroom, they can just decorate that whole room any way they like. If they share a room, then have a special spot allocated for each child. But it's so important that they have the bedroom as their special place. They take ownership of that bedroom and that it's a place that they enjoy going to and that they can experiment and explore in their bedroom. So this is just a picture. Kelly, when she was in about third grade, painted this castle on her wall. And then she used to put little photos of our family up in the little windows. Um, also, uh, let's see. There's a picture of Kelly in her bedroom, too. As you can see, it's very messy. So our kids had messy bedrooms. And there's the castle yeah. in the background there. Kristen didn't have a messy bedroom. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Carrie and Kelly. Carrie and Kelly one day got this idea of um, painting a closet. Oh, we had a little kind of like a walk-in closet downstairs, and it just was filled with like a vacuum cleaner and stuff. So they decided they would paint it red. And then they looked up uh, words in Chinese and painted words in Chinese on the wall. And then they went to Ikea and they bought this little uh, tea set and, and table. And they would sit in there and eat uh, Chinese food. So that was really fun for them experimenting and exploring. Kelly ended up painting this on her wall with my mom. My mom's quite artistic as well. So they painted that together um, on Kelly's bedroom wall, which they had great connection time doing. And here's Kelly's name under her whiteboard. We used to have a whiteboard in each child's bedroom so that we could win win negotiate things on it. Um, so Kristen also, I don't have a picture of hers, but she had a rainbow painted on the wall in her bedroom. So their rooms got crazier and crazier through the teenage years, but they loved their bedrooms and it was their space to experiment and explore and do whatever they want wanted to do with it. Uh, one other extra piece I'm being reminded of was one time Carrie wanted to turn the, have the lights turn off and the hamper close and the door shut all at one time. So she took a piece of yarn or string and she tied it somehow to the light switch, the hamper and the door. And all you have to do is shut the door and everything would close at the same time remember mm -hmm. that yeah and that yeah. happened because they were allowed to have that freedom and to be who they are in their own space so yeah actually i remember Kristen wanted to teach dance classes in, oh, in yeah. our garage so we paid for a, a strip thing to be put in the Flooring. garage floor and uh, mm -hmm. she taught dance class in there yes she while, did so. we had we took just took some yeah. inexpensive flooring had it laid down had an inexpensive mirror hung up on the wall and she was teaching some children dance classes in our garage for a while and that, that was a great experiment and explore mm -hmm. opportunity yeah. so yeah. be creative ask your kids they always have great ideas and have fun with it yeah and it will last the rest of their life they will be more exploring and, and experimenting on things and to get a lot more information, we, of course, are the authors of Parent Shift with Wendy Thomas Russell. And we just won another award. Uh, I forget the name of it, but. Not a yeah. not full award. Yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> so that's cool. And then our latest thing is uh, Quarantine with Kids to help you uh, do better at home with this crazy world we're in right now. And that's on our website. ParentingFromTheHeart.com if you want to order our book Parent Shift or also you can get the ebook Quarantined with Kids. And I'd like to share a quote out of our book Parent Shift that has to do with experimenting and exploring. And this quote is from Jane Nelson. And she says, The challenge of parenting lies in finding the balance between nurturing, protecting, and guiding on one hand, and allowing your child to explore, experiment, and become an independent, unique person on the other. So that's our goal, is to stay in balance and, and to allow our ch children to blossom into the people they're meant to be. Yeah, great quote. 
and upcoming events. Uh, not till the fall will be our next class, uh, Parenting from the Heart, 18-hour course, four weeks on Sundays. And if you'd like more information, just sign up for that. It will happen for sure. We know it. And uh, go to our website. And finally... And finally, we send you off on your parenting journey with love, and we do so from, from the, the bottom, bottom of, of our, our hearts. hearts. See you next time. Bye. Is that still